Hello everyone, it's I, Power in here, doing another card pack opening video. This time we got some more Pokemon cards that I picked up at our places, Walgreens. These right here is a 10 pack card that I saw in one of the aisles. And I was like, you know what, I'll pick these up. They're cheap, they're like three bucks each. So not bad at all, 10 cards. Uh, mystery pack, well, mostly mystery pack, but I, was sh I, know what the, uh, I know what the front cards are because they did reveal one card each, but you'll see those cards once uh, I turn the ba their back around. So, out of the way, let's go with the card pack opening. Now we're back, and let's go with the card pack opening. And, which, and let's be honest, out of this, it's pretty easy, simple pack. These have the clip-ons right here that you usually see. Just clip them off, which, not gonna lie, it's good, but also, not gonna lie, it kind of feels like a little bit easy where you could probably open these up and probably uh, take them and steal them, which... So far, these were in the back, so it was not bad at all. But let's go. Ooh. And look at that. One of the cards that we see is Charmander. You can, also, you can also see the reason why I picked this up. Charmander was one of my first Pokemon I cho uh, chose when I played Fire Red all the way back, which I still have my Pokemon Fire Red, the original for the Game Boy Advance. But now let's go open this up right here. Ooh, should probably left this one last, but you know what? That's fine. Ooh, I will say, Protective. Cody, not bad at all. Ooh. We have right here, we have the foil Charmander. You can see right there. You can see right there the reason why I also chose them. Because you can see the foil shininess of this. And also, not bad. Artwork looks pretty well. Ooh, a Zora. One of the newer Pokemon from the later, uh, for later generations. Psyduck. Always a good one to see. Hey, a Pharah. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Then again, I am playing through uh, my old fi Fire Red again, so I uh, might try to see one of those again. Hey, Farfetch. I do like his Night version in what? Sword and Shield? Pretty nice. Uh, cr cricket, that's one of the bug Pokemon. I'm not really that much of a bug type person. I'm more a fire person. Fire Pokemon. Hey, Duck Tricks. This evolution of the, of the little uh, starter owl, which I never chose. And probably one of the, I'm not going to call it terrible designs, but it's Pokemon basically running out of ideas. I know for some people might like, might like it or whatnot. For me, it's like, it, it's okay. It's fine. Hey, Riolu, one of the uh, Pokemon that eventually goes into Lucario, one of my favorite fighting Pokemon. Hey, Cross Switch, not bad. And Basic Energy, that is it for that one. Overall, Charmander was probably the best out of that, I want to be honest. Right, see right here, Charmander, not, yeah, Charmander. I was going to say Charizard for one second. See right here, I do like the holographics. I like these a little bit better than the ones that I usually get in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now I go with the second pack opening. Should have done these openings first. Once again, pack's easy to open. Could open, put those packs away. And now we get the Aerodactyl, one of my favorite of the ancient Pokemon that you can resurrect. I know we can resurrect a lot of them. I know, what was it in uh, X and Y? We can resurrect either the uh, the long neck one or the Tyrannosaur, and I always go for Tyrannosaur. First things first, the Eric Dactyl, one of the original of the ancient Pokemon you can revive, and one of my favorites. Looking pretty good. Ooh. Hey, Grotto! One of my favorite for Gen. What is this? Gen 4? 5? I forget. It's been a while since I played. Is it Diamond Pearl? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Diamond Pearl. Ooh, Shuttle. One of the dark type Pokemon. Not bad at all. Hey, Slogo. I do love his evolution because it's very powerful and um uh and uh what's it called X and Y. Hey, Onyx, one of the old rock types. Not bad at all. Hey, Nicket. This oh wait. You know, me and my friends always uh, laugh with his evolution being like the the Seaf archetype of the Pokemon art. Hey, Chansey. Uh, Pokemon Center Nurse. Not bad at all. Hey, Floatso, one of my favorite uh, water Pokemon always to catch. We're always reliable water Pokemon when you need one, especially in early games. Hey, Horsey, one of the best starters, especially for me because I do love to evolve Horsey into Kingdra, one of my favorite water Pokemon. Hey, nice, sweet honey. Not bad at all. And that is it. Overall, not bad, not bad at all. Pokemon cards. I think I chose wisely, at least for me. Just because favorites and whatnot. Getting the Aerodactyl right here. Look, 
pretty nice on the holographics and the artwork too. The artwork is beautiful. You can see right there, not bad at all. Then Charmander was its artwork and holographics. You can see right there. If the car, if the oh, there we go. You can see right there. Hold the holographic. See right there. Not bad at all. You can see right there. And then Charmander just walking around. Overall, not bad artwork. I say I did pretty good. Uh, but out of the way, this is the card pack. This Pokemon card pack opening with two uh, good cards. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Power Art and sign out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day, folks. And like always, uh, have a great day.